Saint John Baptist de Rosy we celebrate on 23rd May. He was born on 22nd February 1698 in Voltaggio, Italy. He was the fourth child of Charles de Rosy and Francis Anfossi, known to be a holy and faithful couple. Though John's family was not financially wealthy, they were rich in faith. Through their guidance and a wonderful education, John learned to excel in his living faith, piety and gentleness. John thrived in his studies. His natural talents, spiritual gifts, Christian virtue and willingness to apply himself to his studies made him the model student. On a superficial level, St. John Baptist de Rosy's life was uneventful. A simple priest, for 40 years he worked in the capacity of an assistant pastor in Rome. On a spiritual level, however, he touched thousands of needy people, the sick, the homeless, prostitutes, transient cattle drivers who came to market in Rome and other rough sorts. By day, he devoted himself to the sick, poor in Rome's hospitals. By night, he ministered to street people at a refuge. Caregivers can look to John Baptist as a model. Before he would speak to a dying person about salvation, he did all he could to relieve their suffering first. No matter how disgusting was the service for the sick, it never repulsed him, and his selflessness won people's hearts. Once, for example, a young man dying of syphilis rejected De Rossi's attention until the priest emptied his bedpan. Touched by John Baptist's humble care, the fellow finally listened to him and made a good confession before he died. Other priests and penitents were amazed by John Baptist's persuasiveness in the confessional. With a few gentle words, he turned people's lives. Once, a young man came to him who was sexually entangled with a woman who kept coming to his house under the pretense of washing and mending his clothes. A brief conversation with John Baptist broke the youth's addiction. As a sign of his cure, the next day he brought the priest a pile of his clothes he had taken from the woman. John Baptist exhorted others to follow his example in caring for souls. Here is an excerpt from one of his sermons to his fellow priest. Ignorance is the leprosy of the soul. How many such lepers exist in the church here in Rome, where many people don't even know what is necessary for their salvation? It must be our business to try to cure this disease. The souls of our neighbors are in our hands, and yet how many are lost through our own fault? The sick die without being properly prepared because we have not given time or care enough to each particular case. Yet, with a little more patience, a little more perseverance, a little more love, we could have led these poor souls to heaven. Many of us shrink from going to the hospitals from fear of infection or from the sights and smells that await us there. Courage, we are not the world to follow our own will and pleasure, but to imitate the Lord. John Baptist de Rosy, himself worn out by his unselfish service, suffered a stroke in 1763 and died a year later. The poor come to church tired and distracted by their daily troubles. 
If you preach a long sermon, they can't follow you, he said. Give them one idea that they can take home, not half a dozen, or one will drive out the other and they will remember none. John Baptist de Rosy passed to the Lord, whom he loved with such true devotion on May 23rd, 1764, in his bedroom in Trinita de Pellegrini. His body was buried in that church under a marble slab at the altar of the Blessed Virgin. His remains were relocated in 1965 to a new church named in his honor. Pope Pius VI began the cause of canonization. Pope Pius VI began the cause of canonization for John Baptist de Rosy in 1781, but both the French Revolution and the Napoleonic Wars created setbacks. Years later, in 1859, Pope Pius IX resumed his cause and attributed two miracles to John's intercession. St. John Baptist de Rosy was beatified on May 13, 1860 by Pope Pius IX and canonized on December 8, 1881 by Pope Leo XIII.